Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to talk about another amazing property of water. The fact that it's a, a great solvent. Now, of course, we probably already figured that out, but I just want to pay special attention to that. Because water is actually called a universal solvent, and the reason why water is called universal solvent is because more substances can dissolve in water than in any other chemical. So it's kind of an interesting thing is, you know, we go swimming in it, we wash ourselves with it, but yet it's a great solvent. Many, many things dissolve in water. And because of that, it becomes an essential for the transport of chemicals. So it's essential for life because uh, everything dissolves in water. It's able to then transport all kinds of things such as chemicals, minerals, and nutrients that our bodies need, that all life needs. So it's really the basis of life because it's ability to dissolve things and carry these things in with it. Also, essential for life is that it creates aqueous solutions so that many chemical reaction can, reactions can take place. Without water being able to dissolve things like that, it would be very difficult to create a medium in which these chemical reactions could actually take place. And again, why does water uh, do that so well? Again, water is a very polar molecule. It has a very strong dipole. It's negatively charged on one side, positively charged on the other side. And because of that, it can create a lot of forces pulling uh, ionic compounds apart, pulling positive and negative ions apart from under and surround them so that they can then be transported with the water from one location to another basically electrically insulating the negative and positive charges of the negative and positive ions. And that is what water is so good at. So once it's able to wiggle itself between the positive and negative charges, breaking them apart, and then surrounding them, the fact that they're then completely surrounded, and what's also interesting is that it basically forms a multiple layer of insulation because beyond the first layer of water molecules surrounding an ion, there would then be a second layer where then you would see additional water molecules uh, position themselves in such a way that you can see that this would very quickly form a region where it's completely insulated from the other ions. Once it's done like that, and since water has the ability to kind of roll over itself, uh, as it's agitated enough into a liquid form, then these ions can simply be transported to other places where they can then form new bonds when the, the conditions are, are correct for that. So water being a great solvent, again, is one of the unique properties of water. I know there's other good solvents out there, but water with its other properties is just this unique, unique molecule that does amazing things in the universe. So there you go, number six, and we'll continue on with a few more after this.